In this tutorial, we'll review how you can import contacts in the HubSpot. We'll review any file requirements, any limitations, and how to import your contacts step by step. So let's get started. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Before we even get into HubSpot and we start importing our contacts into the CRM, we actually want to take a look at the Excel file that we're going to be using. So be sure to check out HubSpot's documentation about how you should have your a file set up, but we're going to review a few things today. The first thing that you want to keep in mind is you have properties. As you can see here, we have about five properties. We have first name, last name, email address, favorite food, and mobile phone number. By the way, this Excel file is a file provided by HubSpot. So if you want to work alongside with me, we'll leave a link to the page where you can download this exact file so that we can work together. All right, so going back into this file, as you can see here, we do have a property here called favored food. So this is important to point out because I actually do not have a property called favored food inside of my own HubSpot. So the reason that this is relevant is that if I went ahead and I just tried to upload this contact list into HubSpot, as my HubSpot is currently set up, HubSpot would have no idea really what to do with this favored food property. So the first thing I want to do actually before I even start importing this file is I want to make sure to create a favorite food property. If you try to upload the file without setting up the property first, it's honestly just going to waste a lot of your time. So it really is worth it to set up the property before you start importing your file. All right, so how do we do that? We're going to go ahead and go into HubSpot and we're going to go into the properties area. In order to get into the properties area, what you're going to do is over here up in the menu area, you're going to click on settings and then you're going to scroll down a bit, click on properties and there you have it. So let's go ahead and create a property. This is going to be a contact property because we're going to be uploading a contact list today. If you don't have business units, you can go ahead and ignore this. For the group, we're going to type in contact information and for the label, you want to make sure that the label has the same name as your property label in the Excel file. So in this case, it would be favorite food. So now we're gonna select what type of uh, property this will be. And let's go ahead and do drop down select. And now you wanna add in the same labels that you have in your Excel file. So in this case, we have coffee, we have waffles, and we have shrimp. All right, and you, just as a safety precaution, you wanna double check that everything looks good, that you've spelled everything uh, the same way so that HubSpot will be able to match it all. And in our case, it looks pretty good. And this is what it would look like when the user is going to pick their option. All right, so let's go ahead and press next and create. Okay, great, so now we have that favorite food property in HubSpot. And if I search here, I can go ahead and see it. So that's pretty good. We know that our file is set up correctly and so now we're ready to go ahead and start importing files into HubSpot. All right, so now that we have everything set up, let's go ahead and review how you can start importing your contacts. So the first thing you wanna do is get over into your contacts page. So you do that by clicking contacts up here and then contacts again. From there, you wanna click on import. So once we do that, HubSpot is gonna give us two options. Either you can import directly from your computer, for example, or you can sync. Now, in the case of sync, this is more so if you have, for example, an old CRM and you want to link your old CRM to HubSpot and then automatically sync the, the contacts there. But in our case, we're going to just be importing from an Excel file that we have. So we're going to do on start and import. From there, HubSpot gives you four options. So you can either import a file from the computer, which is what we're going to be doing today. You can import an opt-out list. So basically, this means that if you already have contacts inside of HubSpot, that you want to stop from receiving emails, you can upload a list of those emails and HubSpot will do it, will take it from there. You can import objects from apps and you can repeat a past import. In our case, let's just go ahead and import a file from the computer. Now HubSpot's gonna ask you how many files do you wanna import? In our case, we're just gonna do one file today. We're gonna keep it simple. So the next thing that HubSpot's gonna ask you is how many objects are you importing? So what exactly is an object? Basically, objects is the name that HubSpot gives to organize different pieces of data. So for example, contacts would be an object. 
Uh, another example would be companies. That's also an object. Another example would be deals. So the deals area instead of HubSpot, those are considered objects. In our case today, we're only uploading or importing, I should say, one object, and that would be contacts. So we're gonna stick with that. It is possible, uh, as you can see, to upload or to import multiple objects, but it's a little bit more involved. And as this is just a quick review, we'll just do one object. From there, HubSpot wants to clarify what object are we importing? In our case, we're just doing contacts, but as you can see, here's some other examples of the types of objects you can import, along with if you've made any custom objects. But today, we're just gonna be doing contacts. All right, so here's a stage where you need to choose the file that you're gonna upload. And then HubSpot's gonna ask you, how do you wanna import the contacts? So do you wanna create an update contacts? This means uh, HubSpot will create new contacts for any contacts that don't exist. And if it's able to locate old contacts or contacts that you already have in your HubSpot through the record ID, then it'll update those contacts. You also have the option of only creating new contacts and you have the option of updating existing contacts only. In this case, we're just gonna do create new contacts only. And we're gonna be working in English today. All right, so HubSpot will go ahead and do you the favor of checking errors in your rows. In our case, we're pretty good. So now as you can see, HubSpot is already starting, uh, has already connected the properties that we had in our Excel file to the properties that we have inside of HubSpot. And this is where that first step comes in uh, really crucially. It's a good thing that we already created our property here because as you can see, everything is mapped out perfectly. So in our case, we can go, uh, go ahead and press next. From there, you wanna go ahead and give it a name. So uh, I recommend mm, giving it a, a, a good name so that you know uh, how to, if anything goes wrong, uh, you know how to, you have the context for it, let's say. So some things that I would suggest is adding in uh, the date of the upload. If where you're getting this list from, so let's say that you went to like a trade show or something like that, for example, I would put in the trade show name and potentially even you could put the name of the person who's actually uploading the file itself. Also, it's gonna ask you if you wanna create a list from this import. I would suggest doing this. That way you can have that list as a reference point after the import has been done. If not, you're just gonna have the contacts in your contacts area and, and there's no way for you to connect all of those contacts into that import list. So I always recommend creating a list from that import. And then of course you have to select the legal basis. Keep in mind that you always have to be conscious of the, the different privacy policies. So in our case, it's not applicable, um, but keep in mind how this works for your unique situation. And we're gonna go ahead and click finish import. All right, so our import is done. Uh, as you can see, we've imported three rows and three new records. We weren't updating any records today, so that's why we, we don't see anything there. All right, and there you have it. So our import is done importing. As you can see, we have now three new records in, in our HubSpot, which is great. So that means everything went well. Let's go ahead and go into the list to actually take a look at those contacts that we imported. So as you can see, we have our list right here. And there's our contacts right there. So everything went well. And there you have it. That's how you can upload a simple list into HubSpot. If you have any questions uh, or anything that we didn't review today, go ahead and leave a question in our comments and we'll be sure to help you as much as we can. If you want to learn more about HubSpot CRM, be sure to check out our video here. And if you want to keep seeing HubSpot tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next video.